Good morning, you guys. It's Katrina. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit the bell notification so you always are notified when I put up a video. Well, today <clears throat> I went and did my grocery haul, as you know, because today is Friday and that's when I go do my grocery shopping. And I'm going to tell you guys, I am back to basics and I'm going to tell you why but not right this minute. I'm gonna show you what I got. So if you are just starting the keto um, way of life, I don't call it a diet, it's a way of life. If you are just starting and you want, you know, basics on how to start, what you should be eating, well, I'm gonna show you the absolute basics because I'm going back to basics. And I'm gonna show you exactly what I bought to start my week. This past week, I've done the same thing, but I used what I already had in the fridge, so this week I went and bought more stuff, um, but it's all gonna be basic because all this lavish keto stuff, you got, you can't, if you're really wanting to get that weight off, you can't start with all of that stuff because there's a, you gotta remember all of that stuff adding on um, adds calories to everything and you still wanna stay, you know, I, I say under 1,500 calories a day. I think that's best. Um, because, you know, they say there is no calorie counting, but I think you still should stay at least under 1,500 calories a day, and that works. Um, and I know people don't want to weigh out their food, but you know what? It's worth it, you guys. It's so worth it. And once you do that for just a couple of weeks, you you already know. Then you don't have to anymore because then you can look at it and tell about what the weight of it is. You know what I mean? And it makes it a little bit easier. So, but... Um, I, I kind of fell off the wagon here for a little bit, um, and I'm gonna tell you why, but I'm gonna tell you that after I show you the foods that we're we gonna got. start over here with our veggies that I bought. These are basic vegetables. Oh, not this one here. This is fresh pet. That's for my dogs. I give that to them with their hard food. Okay, so over here, you know, of course, I always have to have a salad, so I do have my romaine lettuce, and I got some green onions, and over there in the bag, I left them in here, um, I've got some broccoli crowns, of course, a nice cucumber, and some little cherry, it says lip smacking grape tomatoes, okay, and then here, I, of course, you know, I love my olives, a nice little uh, lunch or a treat would be some olives, some cheese, and, you know, some, um, I've got some deli meat, actually, it's the Oscar Mayer that I had bought last week, and it's like, um, it comes in the long things, like so you can make Subway sandwiches with it, but I don't use it for that. I just roll it up and have it with some cheese and olives. I got me some extra virgin olive oil. I did get me finally some horseradish because I'm, I'm gonna make me some uh, cocktail sauce for my shrimp, okay? And I got some original um, breakfast sausage here, pork breakfast sausage. I did get the 80-20 uh, three pound of hamburger meat and of course I got me some steak we are gonna make some delicious uh, beef and broccoli okay over here I bought some of this splash water and this is it's a, a side grape flavored and it's just water well for that there I paid like two bucks and those hint I, I'm hoping they're good because the hint for a 12 pack you know I paid like 10 or 11 dollars something like that so they were a dollar each whereas these what is it so two dollars by six I mean come on can't beat that, so hopefully these are good. All right, for my dairy here, I did get some more sour cream, but you see how small the container is this time? Because I'm gonna use that to make my dip, and I'm gonna and I'm gonna eat on that, but I'm not gonna use sour cream in all of my stuff, all of my other foods, because I'm trying to stay basic. I did get some almond milk, um, because with my working out regime that I'm starting, um, I would like to have a protein shake, and I already have some protein shakes, so I've got almond milk to go with it. I don't like mine with water, I like the almond milk. I did get me some of this sugar-free candy because you know it's getting to be around that time and I've been wanting some sweets like I always do. And I did get me, of course, some eggs. But that's it here, you guys. I spent $60 and this is everything that I got. Um, I know $60 seems like a lot, doesn't it? But, you know, I've got the big hamburger meat. I got the, the steak right there was 11, 12 bucks. You know, it adds up real quick, you guys. It adds up real quick. I mean, those olives right there are $4. But anyway, this is 60 bucks. This will last me for the week. And if I can stay at a budget of $60 a week, that's $240 a month, I am golden. Okay, guys, well, this is my haul. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll, I'll be back to tell you my story in just All a right, second. So I told you, I was gonna let you know why I am back to basics. So 
I'm going to admit to you, in the last couple of months, I have not done so well on keto. Uh, with everything I went through with my best friend passing away in December, two days after Christmas, and then one of my sweet, sweet baby fur babies uh, passed away, what is this, two weeks ago. Tomorrow will be, no, Sunday will be two weeks. So it just, you know, in the last two months, it just hasn't been real good for me. And I'm not even going to lie. I, I went off the bandwagon. I mean, I would try to do keto, but then I would eat ice cream. And then I would try to eat uh, keto. And then I would eat some chips. And then I would try to go back to keto. It doesn't work that way. You cannot do that. You have to get your body in ketosis and stay there. You cannot cheat. You cannot cheat. That's all there is to it. You have to stay with keto and stay in ketosis. When you get to the weight that you want to be, then you can have a cheat day here and there. You know what I mean? Because you can have that cheat day. Now, but you still gotta be careful doing that because I'm gonna explain to you what it does to me when I had the cheat days or if I would cheat with this. It made me wanna cheat constantly. It made me crave those foods again. It sure did. I'd have that ice cream, then I wanted a candy bar, and then I wanted chips, and then I just, it, it, it just, it gets out of control, and I don't want that to happen to you. Um, so I am back on the bandwagon this week. I've done really good. I've lost about two and a half pounds so far from Monday to today, because um, I did put on weight, and that's what got me, is Monday morning, I got on that scale, and I was so unhappy, because I worked so hard before to get this weight off. And just like that, it come, you can gain weight fast. And it's not that because it's keto going on, you know, people say, well, that's why I'm not doing keto. No, that's not why. You got to remember the last two months or month and a half, I've been not eating right. So in that past time, and, and when I don't eat right, I binge eat a lot. So keep that in mind. But I'm back on track now. Um, I, you know, I still have days where I'm very sad about my friend and my puppy, but I'm back on track and I'm going to stay on track. Um, so I'm going back to basics this past week. I did really well. Um, this, this coming week, we're going to do some meal prepping again. And, um, you're going to see how easy it is, but how delicious it is to still have basic foods. Um, oh, a little side note here. I joined AARP. <laughs> Am I really 50? I don't feel 50. But I did join it. It says you get benefits and all that stuff. I'm just not going to really tell anybody. As I just told the whole world, right? Um, <clears throat> no, you get a lot of you know discounts and benefits. I'm going to try it out. So anyway, that's, that's where everything it stands right now. And I have to be upfront and honest with you guys. Because that's what I'm here for. I, I can't, I'm not going to lie. Yes, I gained weight in that month and a half. And, and I'm not happy about it. But I'm back on track. Summer is going to be here before you know it. So we're going to want to be wearing bathing suits and going to the pool, going to the lake, going to the coast. Something. I don't know. Me, I go to my backyard. I don't know. But anyway. Um... So that's where we're at with that. Um, I hope you're not disappointed in me. I mean, it does happen. We are human. We make mistakes. And I just had a rough couple of last couple of months. Um, December and January were just not good for me. So anyway, we're back on track. I'm going to go ahead and finish up this video here. And what I want to tell you is later on, I'm going to make another video. And we are going to be making some food and meal prepping. So stay tuned for that. All right, guys, I love each and every one of you. Thank you so much for every day coming to my channel and watching me. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. To share this channel with all of your friends. Like, share, subscribe, do whatever you got to do. Just get on this bandwagon with me. All right, guys, I love all of you from Texas. Have a good day.